Hello you guys. So in the following video, I ask Mark Constantine, the creator of Lush and the founder of Lush Incorporated and the owner of Lush UK, Lush Japan, Lush Australia, basically everything except Lush North America, which is owned by Mark Wolverton. But every, with everything else in the world, Lush is owned by Mark Constantine, and he is the creator of Lush. And so I was lucky enough for him to be kind enough to grant me uh, an interview to ask some questions and during the interview uh, the audio is very poor I only had my iPhone you can hear him answer the questions there's a lot of talking in the room where we were having lunch um, you can't really hear my questions but um, I will put them in text on the screen before he answers but I asked him the questions um, if you were to do something else, another another uh, career aside from Lush, if you were to choose another career aside from Lush to do, what would it be? And uh, I asked him what turns him on spiritually and creatively, and uh, I asked him what his favorite curse word is. I asked him what his favorite Lush product was. Um, I asked him to explain the creative showcase. That was the first question I asked him was, explain the creative showcase to someone who has no idea what it is. And uh, I asked him uh, if God, the last question I asked was if God uh, appeared at the, if heaven actually exists and God appeared at the pearly gates as you arrive, or what would you like to hear God say? rather and so you can hear uh, Mark's answers hopefully now what I wanted to say what I personally wanted to stress uh, before this video is that Mark Constantine is not the man who is in charge of bringing things or giving things to those of us who live in the United States and Canada he is not the one in charge of giving us things um, that would be Mark Wolverton, or as I like to say, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Um, in my video called Me Exposed that I uploaded yesterday, at the very end I describe uh, how I feel about that. Anyway, Mark Wolverton is never to be seen. Um, he never does anything for Lush North American uh, people. And what bothers me the most and what has always bothered me the most, but I've never said anything, is that Mark Wolverton doesn't seem to mind at all that Mark Constantine and the UK folks seem to just hang in the wind and get a barrage of crap their way for not giving us things when it's not their place to give us things it's mark wolverton's place to be giving us things but he's nowhere to be found mark constantine has actually given stuff to uh so that lush north americans can have stuff even though he didn't have to because he felt sorry for us so we need to really not get it twisted and we need to really understand who is to blame and who isn't and if anything is learned during this video I would like it to be that and so I apologize for the bad audio like I say I'm not a professional I only had my um, my iPhone thankfully Mark's voice carries enough that you can hear it um, if you'd like me to expand uh, if you'd like me to expand on the answers, I can do that. Just write your question below. I would suggest you turn it up and wear earphones so that you can hear him. Um, so, uh, so I hope it's. I hope you can hear some of the things, and I apologize if you can't. Um, about sort of 12 questions. Yeah, related to Yeah, that's a bit closer, size. All right. Yeah. Um, first, I just 
just can you describe the creative showcase for someone who doesn't know what the heck you um, It's every stupid idea we've had all made into reality. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if you could um, have a run on some fun uh, so that you could, because, you know, it's, it's like Play-Doh. It's a bit like quicksand, I suppose. And if you hesitate, you sink in it. So you've just got to keep going. So that was Mozo. She wanted to see it. She just wanted to see, could you do it? And now we've got one back. Um, Jack, Jack desperately wanted to make that the biggest bath bomb in the world. So uh, there was a lot of arguments about that. Um, but eventually a three and a half ton bath bomb arrived here. And they just drip water on it until it disappeared. Um, there's, there's just gentle ideas like, well, it's quite a big installation where you're this giant shower um, where you can look at all the moods and get in the mood of the moods. So, so that's very, very lovely. And the musicians oh, yeah, that did the music yeah, are there. Yeah. Um, then there's there's the shop, you know, which is always a huge deal. Um, and the tills that didn't work. They're working man. Um, and then workshops, large, large, you know, sort of uh, speaking things. I mean, just a lot of different things. But basically, a lot of exciting products. I think that's the thing that people really notice the most and what they want the most. There's a lot of cues. You've got them down in balloons just to see the whole place. That was some other stupid idea someone had. Oh, we'll have some balloons in the middle. Oh, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so how do you describe it um, a lush emporium you know an exciting uh, exciting place to go if you're a lush fan uh, if you're not so into lush bit weird <laughs>
I like Pigs and Leaves to study everybody. I like Dirty the fragrance. They're my personal favorites. But my favorites, my real favorites are things like Dream Cream, because that, that gives so many people benefit. So wherever I, I feel that, oh, well, that piece of work really worked, you know, that worked because that gave so many people uh, you know, ease on eczema or this or that thing. They're, they're great things, aren't they? Right. You can pull those off in my field. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And there, so that when people ask me what my favorite products, they're my favorite products because they do the most. I can always make myself something else. <laughs> Those are definitely classic products that work for yeah. a lot of people. That laugh is Hillary, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and the other laugh is Mo. <laughs> and now they're all at it. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. creatively, yeah. Know how it can work. you know, yeah. um, scholarly work but lots of boys on ancient part. perfumes. How lovely and is that in it- Italy? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And actually, Renaissance art turns me on as well. So I, I so yeah, that I aspect. I, I um, we went to Vienna. This is a story of a luddite. We went to Vienna, and uh, I've been we've been to a few art galleries. Done this this and all. So it's me and Simon and Jack, and uh, and we had about an hour before the plane went. And I I said, well, it'd be good to get a bit of apple strudel before we go. You know. Austrian beer. Yeah. So I thought we'll go in the we'll go in the uh, art uh, museum, the, you know, the museum of art. I'd never been in there before, but I knew they'd have apple strudel in the cafe. We went in there. We still had forty minutes. We started to look at the art. Oh, you know, they, they had they had Raphael paintings in the toilet. They, I mean, it was just full of Renaissance art. It was stunning. Yeah. And then you sort of feel, oh God, I came in for apple strudel. <laughs> but, did, but did you get the strudel? Uh, I got the strudel, okay. great. <laughs> Very good. So those things, those things are cool. But uh, something witty, something clever, uh, something obscure. I like it. I don't mind if only one person gets it. I'm really, really happy with that. I don't, I'm not looking for everyone to have it. I just, if one person gets it, that's fine. <laughs>